hello everyone today we are going to learn about section of solids in which we have to uh, take this uh, solid and we have to take the section of the solid and then after we have to <coughs> observe the section part of the solid and to cut the uh, solid we have to uh, take a cutting plane and usually we are taking auxiliary planes as a cutting fence so there are two types of auxiliary planes one is auxiliary inclined plane and second is auxiliary vertical plane now what is auxiliary inclined plane so auxiliary inclined plane is a plane which is inclined to the horizontal plane and perpendicular to the vertical plane so auxiliary inclined plane if the plane is inclined to HP and perpendicular to VP then the plane is considered as the auxiliary inclined plane and in the question of section of solid if uh, the cutting plane is an auxiliary inclined plane we have to show the cutting plane in the elevation now what is auxiliary vertical plane a plane which is perpendicular to HP and inclined to VP perpendicular to HP and inclined to VP is known as a auxiliary vertical plane uh, and in the question of the section of solid if auxiliary vertical plane is given as a cutting plane then we have to show that cutting plane in the plan uh, now let us understand the section of solid by taking one example so here is one equation a square pyramid side of base 40 mm square pyramid we have to take the square pyramid side of base 40 mm and axis height 60 mm long so we have to take a square pyramid square pyramid side of base 40 mm axis height 60 mm long has base in HP so the base of the uh, pyramid is on HP and all the edge of the base are equally inclined to VP so all the edge of the base are equally inclined to VP if we have a vertical plane here like this so uh, all the edge of the base are equally inclined to the vertical plane that means the angle of each base should be equally inclined to the XY line so we have to uh, draw the plan and elevation of the uh, pyramid first of all and we have to draw the plan like this uh, by taking a corner on both sides and all the edge of the base are equally inclined to the xy line now we can say that all the edge of the base are at inclined at an angle of 45 degree to the xy line so first of all draw the plan then after draw the elevation so draw the plan showing the corner on the right hand side uh, we can say that all the edge of the base are equally inclined to the xy line that means right now it is equally inclined to the xy line so it is equally equal inclined to vertical plane so first of all draw the plan a b c d draw the slant edge showing the center of the square so first of all draw the plan a b c d base edge equally inclined to the x y line show the center of the square to show the plan of the apex point they have to join the apex point to the base corner to show this plan of the slant edge now project the base corner on x y line a dash b dash c dash d dash this will be the elevation of the base show the axis height the axis height of the pyramid is 60 mm so measure 60 mm of the axis height o dash join to base corners so this is the plan and elevation because the uh, pyramid is resting on base and all the edge of the base are equally inclined to VP so this is the uh, plan and elevation of the pyramid now we have to cut the pyramid by using a cutting plane now here from this statement up to this statement we have to show the projection of solid then after by taking a cutting plane we have to take the or we have to show the section of the solids now here it is given that the condition of the cutting plane it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to VP and inclined at 45 degree to HP 
Now, right now we can say that the plane is perpendicular to VP and inclined at an angle of 45 degree to HP. That means the cutting plane is AIP. And if the cutting plane is auxiliary inclined plane, then we have to show the cutting plane in the elevation. Now, how can we show the cutting plane? Now, the inclination of the cutting plane is 45 degree to the horizontal plane. And such that, see, read the statement again it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to vp inclined at 45 degree to hp that means it is aip such that it bisect the axis now such that it bisect the axis so first of all we have to show the cutting plane inclined at an angle of 45 degree to the horizontal plane and bisect the axis that means we have to measure the center of the axis mark the center of the axis because our cutting plane is bisecting the axis and show an angle of or draw the cutting plane at an angle of 45 degree to the xy line that means 45 degree to the horizontal plane passing from the midpoint of the axis because it bisect the axis so first of all mark the midpoint the horizontal line measure 45 degree angle and show the cutting plane like this now after taking the cutting plane so after taking the cutting plane so here is the cutting plane and here we have shown the cutting plane by using the cutting plane line it is uh, the name of the line is long chain thick at ends thick at ends and thin as well so we have to use this uh, line to show the cutting plane after showing the cutting plane what we have to draw draw its section top view so we have to show the section in the top view section in the side view so we have to show the section in the side view and two shape of the section and two shape of the section now first of all before drawing the section in the top view section in the side view and two shape of the section first of all let me draw the side view of the uh, object so to draw the side view of the object first of all project o dash and the base draw x1 y1 line to differentiate the planes that is this is vertical plane this is horizontal plane and this is the profile plane now project the d and rotate it by using the rounder like this we have to measure this uh, project this point up to x1 y1 line and you have to rotate on the x1 line project c and a project p p when r so elevation projection of the base joint measure the axis height mark o double dash and we can uh, as we know that if you want to show the side view of the object we have to use double dash on the uh, alphabet o double dash so here is a double dash and c double dash c double dash a double dash d double dash d double dash draw the side view by drawing the outlines of the side view and we can say that we are going to draw the left hand side view of the object because we have shown the cutting plane inclined like this and we are going to remove the upper part of the solid if we will take the section like this then we have to draw the right hand side view if we are taking the section like this we can also take the section like this and if we are taking the section like this we have to draw the right hand side because the section side view will uh, uh, visible in the right hand side view. right now we have taken the section like this so the section uh, uh, side view will be shown in the left hand side view as we are going to remove this upper part of the object so now draw the side view now take this section and see uh, we, we are going to remove this part so uh, draw this part that is the bottom part below the or the part below the cutting plane has a dark part and the upper part has a light part because we are going to remove this upper part to observe the top section in the top view section in the side view and two shape of the section now first of all after taking the section what we have to do show the points of the section which will cause the slantage or bridge here our 
cutting plane doesn't cut the base so it doesn't cut the base edge so starting the uh, uh, start giving name from here or from here this is one here it cuts the slant as OC here is 2 or we can say that 2 dash 1 dash here it will, it will cut uh, the slant edge OB because OB is visible if we observe the elevation the slant edge OD is in front of us slant edge OD is in front of us sorry OB is in front of us and OD is behind of us so OD is visible and uh, sorry OB is visible and OD is hidden so 2 dash on OB then after 3 dash on OA and 4 dash on OD because OD is behind and the cutting plane will also cuts OD now mark the 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash and 4 dash that is a slanted OC OB OA and OD and OD is behind it is not visible now to the, draw the section in the plan project these points of the cutting plane that is one dash up to the slanted OC in the plan because it cuts the slanted OC also project the point on the slanted OC up to slanted OC here uh, up to the intersection point of the slanted OC now 2 and 4 if we will project 2 and 4 directly we doesn't get any intersection point on OB and OD so right now wait for that see we will get the intersection point at OA because the cutting plane curves the slant edge OA at 3 dash to mark this point intersection and if you want to mark 2 and 4 point on slant edge OD and OB first of all project uh, that uh, uh, point on the end slant edge that is up to the OA slant edge then after project that point vertically and downwards on uh, up to the OA slant edge and then after rotate that points that is uh, up to B and up to OD now we can see that uh, this is 1 1 on OC this is 2 2 on OP this, uh, this point is 3 3 on OA slant edge and 4 point on OD slant edge join these points and draw the section part So this will be the section in the top view. Now to show the section we have to use the or we have to draw the hatching line incline at an angle of 45 degree to xy line like this in the section we have to show the hatching lines incline at an angle of 45 degree to the xy line. So this will be the section in the front view. Now let us draw the section in the side view. So now project the uh, points of the cutting plane in the side view one on OC slant edge so here is the OC slant edge so this point will be one double dash two is on OB so here is OB so this is two double dash and four is on OD four is on OD OD so this is 4 double dash and 3 will give us the intersection at O A slant edge so this is O A 3 double dash join this point to show the section 1 2 3 4 and draw the hatching line so draw the hatching line incline at an angle of 45 degree to xy line and this will be the section in the side view now we have to draw the true shape of the section so if you want to draw the true shape of the section first of all draw a line reference line parallel to the cutting plane line because we can say that 
the two shape of the section will be in the plane which is parallel to the cutting plane so we have, we can project the true shape of the section in the plane which is parallel to the cutting plane so first of all we have to draw a line parallel to the cutting plane line which is our x2 y2 line to uh, draw the true shape of the section now project these points perpendicular to the x2 y2 line it should be perpendicular to the x2 y2 line so from 1 so this is the projection of the 1 this is the projection of the 2 4 and this is the projection of the 3 it should be perpendicular to the x2 y2 line now to draw the two shape of the section measure the plan of the section so we have to measure 1 that is the plan of the section following the projection of the section see we have to follow the projection of the section measure it from the x y line up to x y line so measure 1 by following the projection from or we can say that measure 1 from x y line from x y line and put your order on x2 y2 line given a this will be the point 1 now measure 2 from x y line following the projection from x y line given a so this will be point 2 measure 4 from x y line by following the projection or intersection of the xy line of the projection and mark the all this four point measure three by following the projection and from the point where the projection of three intersects intersect the xy line so this is the length of three mark three over here so this is one two three four join these points one two three four so so join these points and draw hatching line to show this x and incline at an angle of 45 degree to the x2 y2 line in the true shape of the section so this will be the true shape of the section session will top and session side view that we have to draw for this figure draw sessional top view so this is sessional top view sessional side view sessional side view and two shape of the section now let us do one another problem here it is given to the hexagonal pyramid of base side 30 mm so side of the base is 30 mm and axis length 70 mm is resting on hp with its base on it so base is on HP and one of the side of the base is parallel to VP so now we have to draw the projection of the solid in which it is resting on its base on HP so base is on HP so base on HP so we have to draw the uh, pyramid like this by taking one of the edge parallel to the VP that is parallel to the X Y line so first of all draw the plan of the hexagon plan of the XL by taking one edge parallel to the XY reference line so A B C D we have to draw the hexagon like this by using the circle method the side length of the hexagon is 30 mm and here it is given that uh, the axis of the pyramid is 40 mm away from VP so we have to take the center of the hexagon 40 mm away from the XY line so first of all draw the circle uh, or the center of the circle is 40 mm away from the x y line so draw the circle having radius equal to 30 mm and draw the or inscribe the hexagon inside the circle by taking one of the side parallel to the x y reference line so we have to take the corner on right hand side we have to mark the arc uh, take the arc on the circle equal to the length of the hexagon 1 2 and 3 and 4 and draw the hexagon show the apex point by joining the diagonals of the hexagon project the points of the hexagon on the x line a b f c e and d 
draw the base of the hexagon in the animation axis height of the hexagonal pyramid is 40 to 70 mm so measure the axis height which is 70 mm and complete the figure by joining the elevation of the apex pine to the base corners so this is the projection of solid now we have to take this section of the solid so comes on the section part of the solid so here the condition of this section is given up to this point we have drawn already uh, now the pyramid is cut by AVP incline at 30 degree here is the cutting plane is EVP incline at 30 degree so we have to show the cutting plane in the plan so the inclination of the cutting plane is 30 degree and the cutting plane is 50 mm away from the axis and nearer to the observer so if we are taking this observer so cutting plane is 15 mm away from the apex point and uh, nearer to the observer so we can also draw the cutting plane 15 mm away from the observer and nearer to the observer but here it is given that we have to take the cutting plane nearer to the observer now whenever uh, we have to take avp in the or we have to take the we have to show the avp in the first stage at that time we have to follow one procedure so first of all draw a line parallel to the xy line from the plan of the apex point so draw right now here uh, we have the corners or we have the slantage OA and OD at the place of this horizontal line parallel to the XY line. So it is not uh, required for us to draw the line parallel to the XY line in this case. Now show a line or draw a line incline at an angle of 30 degree to this particular line. So we have to show a line or we have to draw a line from the apex point incline at an angle of 30 degree to this line. So draw this line, show this line incline at an angle of 30 degree. After drawing this line, 30 degree line, draw a line perpendicular to this line. And if you draw a line perpendicular to this line, it will pass from this slant edge. Right now it will pass from this slant edge OB. So show a line, draw a line perpendicular to this line. So this is the line perpendicular. Now measure 15 mm on that line because our cutting plane is 15 mm away from the apex point. So we have to show the cutting plane 15 mm away from the apex point. Now we can show the cutting plane incline at an angle of 30 degree. So we will draw the show the cutting plane parallel to this 30 degree line and 15 mm away from the apex point. Show the cutting plane over here. And to show the cutting plane to draw the cutting plane line we have to use a chain line thick at ends and thin as well so the cutting plane is inclined at an angle of 30 degree show the cutting plane now we mark the points on the cutting plane now see uh, we have to draw the section in the elevation see the cutting plane is 15 mm away from the axis and here to the other draw the top view and section front view and two shape of the section section in the front view the section will be in the front view because we have shown the cutting plane in the plan so section will be generated in the elevation so mark the points of the section which will cut the pyramid at this point this point and this point so this is one two three one on the base corner c three on the base corner a and two on the slant edge o b now project these points one in the elevation one on the base corner c so here will be one two on the slantage ob two on the slantage ob over here and uh, three on the base corner a so these are the points of the section one dash two dash dash join these points and draw the cutting plane or draw the section in the elevation so one two and three join three one this will be the sessional front view now complete the front view 
as we have removed this part this part is going to be visible in the elevation so complete the elevation after drawing this section and we have to draw the hatching line in the section which are inclined at an angle of 45 degree to the x y line so after drawing the section in the front view now it, uh, it is turn to draw the true shape of the section and make sure that the part which is going to be removed or the part of the pyramid which is going to be removed or we have to show the part of the pyramid which is going to be removed as a light outline and the part which is going uh, or which will remain as it is we have to show that part as a visible outline now true shape of this section and all uh, we have discussed in the first example that if you want to draw the true shape of this section and true shape of this section will be in the plane which is parallel to the cutting plane so draw a line parallel to the cutting plane line which is x2 y2 line now draw lines perpendicular to the x2 y2 line from the section that is from 2 from 3 and from 1 perpendicular to the x y line how to draw the two shape of this section we have to measure the section from x y line so one is on x y line so one will remain on x2 y2 line this is one measure two or uh, the uh, section or point two or point two from the section from x y line or uh, by following the by following the projector up to the intersection of the projector to x y line measure 2 put your round on x2 y2 line and mark the new an arc on that line this is 2 and again we can see that 3 is on x y line so here 3 will remain on x2 y2 line so 3 and 2 join these points 1 2 and 3 I'll draw the hatching line in the true shape of this section. So this will be the true shape of this section, and we have to show the hatching line in the true shape of this section also, but incline at an angle of 45 degree to the x2 y2 line. So this is one another example in which we have taken the cutting plane in the plan because the cutting plane is AVP. In first example, we have taken shown the cutting plane in the elevation because the cutting plane was AIP. So this is uh, it for today. We will uh, practice some more problems in the next lecture. Thank you.